Alright, what's going on guys? So I'm going to be continuing my uh, zombie setup series. I'm, I'm on cafe right now. I'm going to go through all three of the sites. All, well, three of the sites, sorry. Uh, top floor, reading room, and kitchen. I'm not going to go through mining, but if you want to play mining, you can probably use the uh, the ones that I'm going to show you for the top floor to hold piano, to hold the load, because you probably want to hold top floor if you're, if you're playing uh, train. But, yeah, let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with the top floor. Um, so the way that people tend to attack top floor is they'll go for a piano and they'll go from the roof and, and the hatches and stuff and generally they'll have a guy just sit on the hatch on the skylight sorry and just hold like hold angles down into sight into into freezer or into cocktail so to stop that you can put an azami on the back here on this uh, little lift like that and it totally blocks off the angle and then you can do the exact same thing on this side as well here um generally you'll have a rotated hole here or, or here um, and from that you can you can rotate safely now because this is here if this was not here you could see you can uh, see the, the feet from the roof and, and this you can like swing around here to stop a plant if this if your shotgun plant opens up this you can uh, stop the plant without getting steam from the, the skylight um, because generally when people try and plant they'll plant here or they'll plant there or they'll plant trash bags um, but they'll have somebody covering from the roof because they're from the roof they cover nearly every single angle you can stop the plant from so having that there means you can, if they try and go for a plant, you can just pick out and stop it. Um, for the next zombies, I put them in piano, um, and, I, and I generally just try and hold piano as a zombie because uh, from this position, from this position, yeah, pretty much you can hold. I mean, you can stop anyone coming in from train, and, and you've got basically all the control you need. So the first one I like to put is on the corner here, this table, and it gives you obviously it gives you a bit of a cover to hold a uh, cigar. Um, and you can uh, hold the breach as well but obviously you, you, you can see that you, you're wide open from these windows so the next one you have to put on sort of on this anywhere around that area and you can just sort of play around it um, and obviously now finally you can see that the, the, the mini bar windows are exposed so if you put it on the corner here like that and it blocks the entirety of the mini bar window and now you've, you've pretty much got safe like a safe position to cover every single sort of way they can come in if anyone tries to come on the windows, you can you can swing them. Breach, you can swing. Cigar shop, you can swing. Um, you, you have to be careful for this window here. But if you open if I open up the window here, you can see that you can't even see outside of the window. So that means that they can't see in. As you can see, I'm just looking at the right at the edge of the window. Um, if you move this a bit more to the right, and then like you're standing further out this way, then you can probably be seen uh, outside the window like that there. So you just got to be careful and, and like stand right around this area so you can't like see outside. And they won't be able to see you. So just gotta be careful of where you where you are. But yeah, that's generally what the, the setup I like to do for for top floor. If you want to, you can remove one of these um, the ones for the skylight, blocking the skylight, and put them on the uh, top red door here. And then it just gives you a, a one way as well as like so the attackers have to crouch through all melee. Um, but I generally don't use that. It's just an option you can use if you want. Uh, let's go into the the kitchen now. Alright, so we're into the kitchen now. Um, the way that I like the whole kitchen is to, to heavily hold bakery because it's it's a pretty pivotal spot of the of the map on the kitchen attack. If the if the attackers try and breach bakery, breach into site and, and then they can just plant on, on one of these bars. Like yeah. Um so you you wanna hold bakery up. Um and the way that I like to do that basically is to just put a put in his army here to block the, the middle like gap here. And then now you can you're pretty much safe along the whole bar. And you can like use it to, to head peek. And um, the next one I like to put is on the back side of this cabinet here, because this is a wall bangable cabinet. Um, and it gives you an extra position to play. You can play up here. And you can have like pixels on the door and stuff like that. And you can play more aggressively on the door. Um, obviously when you when you're holding this, you'll want to reinforce this wall. Um, as well when you you'll you'll notice when you're standing here, you're visible to the wedding window. Um, so to stop that, you can either have a teammate play castle and castle this door and make a rotate here. Which is like the, the default sort of castle setup for bakery. Um, or you can put an azami here. Um, and then, yeah, you put the azami there. And then you'll be pretty much safe from that point. Um, if you put it a bit more to the right, you can you can fully block it off. I think there might be a gap here. I'll have a look. Yeah, there's a little tiny gap there. I'm not sure if the attacker can use it. I'll have a look. A tiny bit, maybe. So yeah, just gotta be careful for stuff like that. If you put it a little bit more to the right, it'll be a bit better. Um, for the last two, I generally just like to stack them up on, on prep. 
um, like this. I put one on the bottom and then one on the top like that. Um, and it gives you like a weird sort of weird angle. You can have like two pixel angles and you can just swing between them. And you can like keep the uh, enemy like surprised by changing up like uh, two on one side, one on the other kind of thing. Like uh, the way that you're peeking it. Um, but all five of them are looking towards this bakery side. So you have to be careful that like, if they don't push bakery side then you, you, you kind of have to change them up for the next let, let's say you try this on one round and then they don't come bakery side you might have to you might have to change it up for the next time you defend this site kind of thing uh, you could probably put one here and then have like a safe rotate between freezer and site and then yeah stuff stuff like that or like behind these bars as well but yeah that's that's the kitchen site done uh, i'm gonna go on to the reading site now all right so we're on to the um reading site now um the way that i like to hold reading is to hold above um, because from above you can have like your shotgun player or you with the deal you can make holes here to stop the default plant and then you can make holes basically everywhere to, to, to stop them in the hallways or stuff, stuff like that um, so the first one I like to put here is on this corner this desk here um, from this you can you can have like you can peek around it like that or you can jump up top here and have like weird angles weird uh, off angles that they won't expect you can even peek underneath it as well um, like that Next, I like to put one on the back side of this bar um, because the bar is wall bangable and, and people might just like come into the cigar and just start like shooting you or like wall banging you stuff like that. Just, just like they won't know that it's like that, so they'll be trying to wall bang that and then they'll just be hitting this. Um, for the next one, I like to put on the on this door here as well. Um, just creates a weird a weird angle for them, and then you can you can also make holes in this wall. And jump up on this table and, and uh, be able to see all the way at the cigar shop. You see, like that little pixel there is like all the way deep uh, behind the behind the door like that there. So you can see all the way that deep into cigar. Um, you'll want to reinforce these two walls and then make make it so you can uh, jump across here like that. I'll give you another little bonus angle as well. If you go here, you can uh, make a hole in this desk. And from this you can also see cigar shop. Just another little angle you can use. Um probably for the for the last two, uh, I'd probably put them downstairs. Just uh I'll put these ones first before you go up, but I'll put one on the back side of this. Put it a bit low down, then you may you, uh, you can like sort of peek above it like that. Um and for the final one. I don't really know of any good uh, insane spots, but I'll probably just put it on the back side of this bomb. Um, and then you can like make your rotate hole. Generally you want to make the rotate hole like a crouch rotate up here. But if you put this there, you can block the rotate hole and then, then just take have that. But you have to care for this window obviously if you're doing that. But yeah, the, the, that's that's all of the sites I will do for cafe. Um, if you enjoyed, drop a like and I'll see you in the next video.